Everybody, I want to welcome you to the Dr. Larry White Senior Show. And this is my second episode, and I'm really blessed to bring this young lady on. Uh, we met a few weeks ago at the Cheryl Wood Show, and, and she just shut it down, um, did our welcome and closed remarks at our fourth annual Congressional Black Caucus. So without further ado, I'm just going to read a little bit about her bio, and then we're going to bring her right on. Leona Brown serves as a as a battalion chaplain in the Maryland Army National Guard and is a master fitness trainer and certified strength and conditioning specialist and owner of Conversion Fitness LLC. She graduated from the school Without Walls Senior High School in Washington, D.C. From there, she matriculated at Bethune-Cookman College, now known as Bethune-Cookman University, located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Leona lettered in three Division I uh, AA sports, cross-country tennis, indoor and outdoor track. I got to talk to you about that because I was a cross country runner myself. Wow. In 1989, Chaplain Brown received her undergraduate degree from VCU in physical education recreation with a minor in health and nutrition. We're going to talk a lot about that tonight. And in 2012, she received a master's degree in divinity. Wow, she's decorated clergy, pastor, chaplain, doctor, all that good stuff from Capitol Bible Seminary in Lanham, Maryland. On May 12, 2018, she graduated with her doctorate degree of ministry, excuse me, doctorate of ministry degree in leadership renewal with a concentration in leadership coaching from Regent University in Virginia Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you my good friend, my sister, and I wanted to just start off with Regent University. I used to live in Virginia Beach, Doc, so back in the day with Pat Robinson, so I know a little bit about that college. But well, welcome to the show. No, thank you for having me, Dr. White. Thank you so much. You know, you're very humbled. Um, you know, I got to tell you, um, I was in the process of journey, jo joining this grad chapter uh, for Alpha Phi Alpha, and they said, hey, if you ever get your PhD, you know, go and tell everybody. You seem to be very humble because I never, you know, remember you saying you were a doctor on the Sherwood show. You're so humble and you got all these accolades. So tell us a little bit who, outside of the bio I just re uh, read, tell us a little bit of who Dr. Leona Brown is. Well, yeah, my mom named me Leon Elizabeth Brown, and that's normally what I go by, <laughs> unless I really have to be called doctor. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, my dad my, is retired Air Force, um, finished going to school in D.C., graduate of D.C. Public Schools, of course, with the, the, the great Bethune Cookman University, um, of course, the owner and head trainer of Convergent Fitness LLC. Um, Master fitness trainer, certified strength and conditioning specialist. Uh, what else? Youth fitness trainer, uh, USPTR certified uh, life coach, leadership coach, and I guess everything else in between. <laughs> so yeah. that's a little bit about. Well, you know, we have a lot in common, uh, Dr. Brown. Um, you serve as a chaplain with the Army National Guard as a yes. um, as an enlisted uh person in the navy back in the day and first of all thank you thank you so much for your service okay um, for yours as well thank you. thank you so much one of the things i had to do was deliver the amcross messages to the chaplain on the ship when there were deaths um you know suicide things like that so i commend you because i know that's a really tough job to have uh dealing with um active duty members with having issues and things like that. But that takes a lot because I've worked with chaplains for about 10 years, giving good news and bad news. So again, shout out to you on serving in so many capacities. I'm like writing all this stuff down. I didn't know if I should call you chaplain, doctor, or all this great stuff. So what we I- don't have <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, so let's just dive right into it. What inspired you to uh, start uh, your business and, and travel down the entrepreneurial uh, realm of life? Well, um, as, as you saw in my bio, as a physical educator and coach uh, for about 12 plus years in the Florida school system, teaching and coaching, I really just wanted to share my passion a little bit more beyond the classroom. Uh, and so actually my company started in Florida. Uh, it started as Tri Fitness, Stay Fit, Mind, Body, and Soul, you know, little teeny small business. And then I got deployed and then relocated back up here to Maryland and went through uh, some growing pains with the company, uh, went from Tri Fitness to Octagon Fitness, and none of those names kind of really meshed with my vision and my mission of what I wanted to bring uh, to the community and beyond. So that's where this came into play. A synonym for conversion fitness is transformation. 
And so we're all about kind of helping individuals transform their bodies and their minds uh, into, into better levels of wellness and health and fitness across the board. Um, I train clients, uh, the youngest is five. I've trained and my oldest client is 69. So we, we train across the spectrum and we just really want to empower others to improve 1% every day. And that, that's what we try to do uh, wherever level they come in at. So that's, that's kind of how my personal training uh, entrepreneurship got birthed. Well, look, I, I, when you talk about the word transformation, um, that, that's a big word today. A lot of people are trying to transform their lives from being, you know, being stuck. And so what's that full story? And, you know, when you talked about you, the name of your company, I can relate to that because VIP Vince Concierge is it's indicative of what I'm passionate about doing. Um, concierge is a French word that means service. And when you Think about your company it really depicts who you are so like a person like myself i'm six foot two uh 237 pounds on a good day right and, on a good uh, day, on a good day. <laughs> gotcha. and you know we talked about obesity uh united states being the most obese country in the world um talk to us about exercise fitness nutrition how does one become more fit you know people are are dying of obesity and just we have all these different illnesses like even the african-american community we, we deal with diabetes we deal with high blood pressure and things like that but what are some of the things that you could talk to us about as far as exercising things to eat nutrition to really decrease the obesity uh, so people could live a healthy life doc could you touch bases on that for us I will try to do my best. Well, you know, we live in a very fast paced society now. And so we've gotten away from um, even like cooking and having meals. And so, we, you know, everything's a microwave mentality. Everything's fast food prep. You know, there's McDonald's on every corner. There are all types of different um, fast food uh, franchises. And so uh, the busier we are, the less time we have to really sit down at the table and really eat meals. And uh, as you know, how we connected it was through um, Cheryl Wood on Impact the World Radio. And I mentioned three words and I'll mention them again, um, balance, variety, and moderation. Uh, we've got to have balance uh, in our eating, um, balance in our fitness, and even our even our everyday in our everyday activities that we do. Um, you know, I talked also about that life rhythm, uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, what your career is, um, you know, what time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, that's going to be a huge indicator of how you need to eat and how you need to train. So if you say, say like for yourself, you travel a lot. I mean, you're super, super busy. So you're going to be need to be eating and drinking, you know, throughout the day. And oftentimes we skip meals, unfortunately, and uh, we're not eating until late at night. You know, especially like, let's say like an, an itinerant preacher, for example, they're traveling the road and they're not getting done till about nine o'clock at night. Then they're sitting at a restaurant in front of a big meal and then they're going to sleep and then getting up and doing the same schedule all over again the next day that kind of you know builds up after time and so uh, we just really have to take our time there's so many different things you see through social media on the television about how to lose weight you know how to get in shape uh, but nothing trumps good old fashioned hard work and discipline i'll tell anybody that i'll tell any of my clients that hard work and discipline gets you where you need to be in reaching your fitness goals it really does nothing trumps it hard work and discipline i, I tell you um yeah. <laughs> I touch bases a little, I touch bases uh, on hard work and discipline in my book, um, having a good work ethic. So you're absolutely right about that. Let's talk about these three things you talked about, balance, variety, and uh, moderations, because you hear that a lot. Ooh. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm a 60s baby. I grew up in the 70s, and we basically were taught um, to eat three times a day. But it seems like more physical fitness experts like yourself are encouraging people to eat six or seven small meals a day. Um, when you talk about balance, variety, and 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 moderation, mm -hmm. you know, how does one, you know, come up with an eating plan? I, I mean, I've gotten away from sugars and things like that. I'm eating more fruits and vegetables, and it's like, wow, I've got a 12-hour day, and I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to pack a lunch where I can have these small six, seven meals a day. And like, I was talking to somebody the other day, they, they like, I really don't like eating. I just like to eat. A little bit and keep it moving because it seems like if you're eating that one big meal a day or two big meals a day things are being stored and things like that so obviously i'm encouraging everybody to hire you as a physical fitness trainer use your product and services which we'll get to momentarily but <laughs> for, for someone is just trying to be at home 
and, and go to the grocery store and just and eat the right things. Just talk to us a little bit about throughout the day because people are going from meetings to meetings to meetings. They're driving and then they're going to the fast food restaurant, just like you mentioned. So could you give us some uh, wisdom on the meal preparations that uh, one should have? Sure. So eating has changed throughout the years. So now, yes, a lot of nutritionists, a lot of trainers uh, recommend that we eat that, you know, five to six mini meals a day. And that also depends on your schedule. Uh, but what I tell people is that, you know, if you're not able to get those five to six meals a day, if you're getting good quality meals in, so if you're only getting, let's say, three to four meals a day, but they're good quality meals, you're getting that good carb in there, you're getting a good source of protein, and you're getting that good green leafy vegetable in there, that's just as effective as if you're eating, you know, those six to seven mini meals a day. And it's also indicative of whatever you're doing. So if you're an elite, elite athlete competing at a very high level, of course, you're going to have to be eating maybe six to seven meals a day. Um, or let's say if you're a figure competitor, you know, I, I train uh, one of my clients, she's uh, getting ready to go on the stage and be a, a figure competitor. So she's eating at least every three hours a day. But, you know, for what she has to do to be on stage, she's got to consume, um, you know, that many intervals and meals throughout the day. So it all depends on uh, what you're trying to accomplish. But if you're getting good quality meals in, uh, that that's a plus. But skipping meals is, is not the way to go. Uh, because your body will store that as fat. It'll break that food down. It'll store it as glycogen in your liver, and it'll keep building up, building up into excess adipose tissue. So we definitely don't want that. So you have um, a physical office where people can come to your fitness center. Tell us where that's located. And also, what are the product and services that your company provides? Sure. We are based out of Bowie, Maryland, Fitness for Less, uh, 6824 Laurel Bowie Road. Marie Johnson and DJ Johnson are the owners of that franchise. Um, I used to work as an assistant manager there and fitness consultant uh, while I was in seminary full time. And so it's uh, kind of near and dear to my heart. So I train all of my clients out of there as an independent contractor. Uh, some of the services that we do offer, Dr. White, is one-on-one -on -one training, group training, uh, boot camps. We do offer nutritional advice, meal prepping, online coaching, uh, leadership coaching, life coaching. We're like a one-stop shop at Conversion Fitness. We, we offer everything that an individual will possibly need to embark on their wellness journey. And so, you know, wellness is not just the physical aspect, but it's the mental, emotional, social aspect of it as well, having that balance in there. And so that's what we offer. Uh, at Conversion Fitness. So we train triathletes, marathon runners, boxers, Muay Thai athletes, jiu-jitsu competitors, um, elite athletes, basketball player, track and field, you name it. Every sport possible that someone can play, I've trained them. When I first um, met you at the Sherwood show, you came in so fit. If you remember, <laughs> I asked you, are you a professional athlete? You know, and and you, you are way too kind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's truth. It's truth. And um, you're very well um, put together. But, you know, you talked about discipline and things like that. So, you know, we have so many similarities. So Conversion Fitness, like you said, for a one stop shop for all your um, fitness needs. Talk to us a little bit. How can folks contact you? What social media outlets are you on and what's a good website for folks to uh, find you guys? Sure. Uh, social media is super easy. Conversion Fitness. Uh, IG is Conversion Fitness. Facebook's Conversion Fitness. Twitter's Conversion Fitness. I, I try to keep it simple for all my followers. Uh, my website is www.conversionfitness.net. Uh, and so if you click on that website, everything is all linked together. There's videos up there of uh, my different clients that I train. We're actually going to be revamping our whole website now I and mean, kind of enhancing it a little bit. So like with me and we're kind of rehashing, make it more user friendly uh, for all those that visit the website. But that's how you can reach me. I'm on every social media outlet that except for Snapchat. I, I refuse to do Snapchat. <laughs> I'm, I'm like you. I'm, I, let, I let Snapchat be for the kids, right? We let the, the there you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> hey, and listen, um, when you get an opportunity, Dr. Brown, uh, tweet me back. I've been tweeting you. Oh, you have? Yeah, I've been oh. tweeting you. I definitely follow you on Facebook, of course. I'm following you on IG, so shout out to uh, Conversion Fitness and all of your wonderful staff. You know, I've been uh, blessed to watch some of your 
videos. I mean, you, you all are doing a phenomenal job uh, getting people ready for competing in, in their uh, walks, of whether it be um, their athletic uh, journey. So I, I have been watching and for me, uh, having a lot of workshops around the country, I really, two things that I really like to hone in on is uh, health and wellness and also uh, financial literacy. So it was by design that I wanted to connect with you because I always try to get a message out there from a professional like yourself on how we can live a healthier life because I think that your health is your wealth. Uh, we go out to try to be entrepreneurs, be family uh, oriented, uh, whatever the case may be, but physical fitness, uh, having a healthy regimen uh, is should be a part of everyone's daily life. So I just really wanted to make sure I could connect with you and uh, my network and viewers and followers could get this great information. So you heard it here first on the Dr. Larry White Senior Show is to reach out to Dr. Leona Brown, her website up here. Uh, give us that website one more time, um, uh, Dr. Brown. Sure, it's www.conversionfitness.net. Now listen, one last question, probably the most important question I'm gonna ask you here on the show today. If there's a person that's struggling to start their business, get in shape, uh, they're just really uh, in a funk, they might be depressed, what's some encouraging words to leave the audience today? We're gonna to blast this out. But someone that's just sitting on the fence, uh, I wanna start my business, I, I wanna be more physically, uh, I wanna look better, I wanna eat better. What would be some encouraging words to tell that person who's listening to you uh, how they can start a business and also follow their dreams? Well, the first thing about starting a business is is that what you have that comes to your mind, just, just branch out and just do it. A lot of times we wait for approval from other individuals, we, we wait to see if we can have a certain amount of money uh, already on hand, but, if you're passionate about something and this is what your dream is and it's what you want to do, then I just encourage everyone just to go do it. Uh, I would have never, you know, believed that, you know, five years, even 2005 when I first started up until now that I would, I would be where I'm at. There's been a lot of pitfalls though. It hasn't been, it hasn't all been easy. Um, you know, I lost my company when I deployed and when I went on active duty, so I had to build everything back up. But I would just tell people that just keep going with your passion and go full full throttle because it'll, it'll come to pass. It really will. And for those who are trying to reach their health and wellness goals, um, for the simple fact that it's it's on your mind, then that's the first step. And like I said earlier, 1% improvement every day. It's not going to happen overnight, but for the simple fact that you're motivated enough to want to change, then we can, um, I guess, put people around you to empower you to reach those goals and to journey alongside of you, to motivate you, to nurture you, to love you, to support you. There's someone out there to help you go wherever you need to go on your journey. So that's what I would leave uh, for those who are listening and beyond that it can happen, just believe it and everything else will fall into place uh, as you journey along. Well, you know, um, Dr. Brown, I wanna thank you for being on the Dr. Larry White Senior uh, show tonight. Um, you have given us some great golden nuggets. We fight <laughs> through uh, adversity, but the message has been very clear tonight. Um, I think all the folks, including myself, that's listening to this broadcast that know who you are should really try to emulate um, a habit that you have. Being fit and taking care of your body, but more importantly, Dr. Brown helping other people to uh, get in shape and things like that. Um, again, your health is your wealth. So I, I do thank you uh, for blessing us with your presence on the show today. Yeah. Uh, you inspire me. You are amazing. I was listening to your speech the other night at Congressional Black Caucus, and I'm like such a, a well-rounded individual, you know, from clergy to uh, active duty to entrepreneurship, health and wellness. I mean, I used to use a term and I'll bring it back. It's called TP, the total package. That's what you are, the total package. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate that. But um, as I as I always tell people, there's still room for growth. There's still room for improvement. And so um, that's that's what I'm doing. Just trying to prove one percent every day to be better than I was when I woke up this morning and be better than I was yesterday. Amen. Uh -huh. Absolutely. So uh, before we close the show, um, Dr. Brown, please leave us with your website one more time, please. Yes, it's www.conversionfitness.net. And uh, also, if they want to reach me via email, um, they can reach me at coachlb at conversionfitness.net. Everything's linked together. So it's coachlb at conversionfitness.net uh, if they happen not to be able to get to the website. But when you hit one, you get everything else in between. 
Yeah. Well, look, yes. Continue to be a blessing to others. Stay exceptional. Uh, you and I will connect really soon. I know I owe you a few emails. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a guest on the Dr. Larry White Senior Show today. The message is very clear uh, of what you're advocating for, uh, health and wellness, helping other people. Your plate is so full and your attention to detail of just following up and, and being on time. I mean, I, I mean, you're just always telling business owners, you know, make sure you're on time and setting a great example. I'll get you out of here with this one. Um, I live my life with a, a acronym, at least one of these uh, acronyms, LIP, LIP, uh, Leadership, Integrity, and Passion. You exemplify all of those uh, attributes of a, a leader, integrity, and passion, doing uh, great things of what you do with your God-given talent and walking into your purpose. So Dr. Brown, I thank you so much for blessing us with some great information tonight. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. White. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Absolutely. And we will be in touch uh, with you very soon. So thank you so yes. much. And everybody, that concludes our show for tonight with uh, Dr. Leona Brown, uh, who has just been an absolute amazing person. Uh, shout out to our producer, Tracy Jeffcoat, who has just done an amazing job. And I can't wait to see you all uh, next week. Thank you. Yo